economic insecurity, social, and civil. Uh, the French, in the French situation, the Muslim populations, and particularly the African American population, have had economic insecurity. They've been high unemployment rates, 25 or 30 percent, uh, very large dropout rates, poor education, and so on. Uh, that has led to considerable social unrest. They feel they're not integrated. They are not. They feel correctly they're not integrated into the French economy. They're not integrated into the French society. Uh, how that manifests itself varies, but it's not surprising that in this particular case you had a, a, a week or ten days of riots. Uh, and this was, uh, I don't think this was any reflection of Islam. I think it was a reflection of the fact that you had this isolated group in France, high unemployment rates, poor jobs, poor education, not integrated into the economy, that led to social and civil uh, insecurity and uh, you know, unrest. And do you think these disorders are linked to the um, national situation of insecurity that is common in Europe, that is also French people feel insecure about the economic situation means that what can we do to adapt the uh, economic situation to the new uh, uh, to the new situation of war? That is, we have a fixed war from uh, from all the life, but we uh, we have mobility, individualization, and globalization. What do you think should